let's just jump into the module outline so in the core solution there are a lot of things that we'll be seeing today that what are the things that we need to talk about so first is here in your azure artificial intelligence and machine learning so let's just say that you are organization who is working with the you know, who's requiring a machine learning or who is dealing with the machine learning okay or the artificial intelligence you are your work is in that particular field so you are actually you and you deployed your uh, cloud solutions right so now you are receiving lot of data on the cloud itself and what you are wanting you are actually wanting yeah, some help from the cloud platform so if you are choosing your azure so azure itself has a learning microsoft azure azure the machine learning platform so it is very ideal when you want to develop a particular you know you want to develop a machine learning model or a trainer your model okay and then deploy the machine learning tools and all those kind of things right so with the azure machine learning what you can do you can create a process that how you are going to obtain the data first right how you are going to handle if there is any corrupted data or missing data or bad data right in the machine language the people who are familiar with it you will be you know, understanding that what i'm talking about that you know, if i have the bad data the missing data how we can handle it right if there is a split you know, split data into the you know, if we have to split the data into different test set as well so we can do that as well and then we start training our module for the machine learning with the help of your Azure itself right and it can create the pipeline that is going to define where and when you are going to run your compute intensive experiment right on uh, the different algorithm as well and you can just deploy the best algorithm that are in there itself so you are getting covered with the uh, uh, azure machine learning as well so it is providing you support for that one as well and they have a lot of different training you know uh, predefined training algorithms of themselves uh, there as well so your microsoft will be sharing their experience of machine learning with you here right then we have the cognitive service which is a pre-built machine learning model that is going to enable the application to see hear speak understand and even you know, begin to reason right so it is the kind of the cognitive service so if someone is working with the cognitive service so there are actually few benefits when it is they are talking about the your cognitive services in the azure that you know uh, you can divide the service into few categories like language service so it is allowing your app uh, if you have an app to process the natural language with pre-built script it is going to you know it it can also evaluate the sentiment of the person that what he's you know typing talking you with right and it is going to recognize you know it is going to learn that what a particular person is wanting you know, what is his intention and all those kind of things there is language service then there is speech service so it is going to convert a speech into text into natural you know, uh, and text into the natural sounding speech itself right and translate one language to the another and you know it also have features like verifying your speaker okay you know, recognizing the speaker's voice and those kind of features are also there in there uh, in there and apart from that what else we are having we are having the azure bot services as well okay so in the uh, uh, cognitive service not only the language and the speech is there there is also the vision service which can you know identify pictures video as well and there are the decision services as well based on the you know the data you are getting based on that you can actually you know remove like from the twitter you are getting some particular data right and you are just removing what are the offensive or the risky comments so it can help you to take those kind of decision as well so cognitive service is very much developed in the azure part then we are having the azure bot service so bot service is like you know i think most of you people have seen the bot that they interact on the behalf of the human being so what you can do you can use another you know, or another machine learning and ai service in the background and this bot service will be taking care of the your front desk right so it will be interacting with the user so all the data it is getting right so it can pass it to the either the cognitive service or the machine learning service using the cognitive service bot can understand that what actually this person wanted right and he can reply according to that right and what it can do it can actually you know, shift or do uh, it can work for you in like answering the faqs okay so you know you don't need a person to give those answer for the faqs so you can you know enable this bot service that is there okay uh, and you can just you know some places where human interaction you can reduce the human interaction like some repetitive tasks like if you are having an app which is just like we are having the zomato 
right which is just confirming the order you can just set the limit so that you know up to this limit you can just you know uh, take the orders whether these are the you know uh, fulfilled or not and all those kind of thing you know uh, if let's just say that you are a hotel owner you are having a not the hotel owner let's just say the big hotel chain right which is spread across the continent you are just you know having the feature due to this corona system that you could have to register yourself up front so taking those registration and all those kind of thing this bot service can be very very much helpful in that particular scenario itself that what you actually wanting to you know, move with or forward with you know, all those kind of thing that is very very helpful when you are just going with to do those kind of things right now these are the few things depending on the ai and machine learnings apart from this we are also having few features for the your devops okay and the github as well right so we can develop our apps with the help of the devops and the github right so first thing is we are having the azure devops service this is very uh, this azure devops service it is a suite of service which is going to help you in each stage of your software development life cycle right as you can read here as well that development collaboration tool including pipeline okay kanban boards and automated cloud based load testing right so in the, this particular devops service it has the different things like azure repos so azure repos it is the centralized source code repository where for your software development where your all the devops engineering and document professional they will be having all the they can publish their code so it is having the repos you know, repositories azure repositories azure board okay so if you are going with the agile model right agile model of the development so it can help you uh, in the project management it has your can uh, kanban boards you know reporting tracking ideas okay uh, work through the different type of item and issues so it can help you with that as well then we have the azure pipeline as well as you know in there which is with the ci and cd right Pipe, pipeline automation to tool so ci is your continuous integration and continuous delivery then there is your azure artifact as well okay and azure test plan which is helping you the testing right so if you do the load you know, load testing and all okay apart from that what it also have it has the collaboration with the github as well so you can just you know as i think most of you people there yeah you are using the github so you can directly use those github repos and you know just launch those in here as well so yeah, that will be much much easy for people so the, who are very much familiar with the github environment right and now we have something which we call the azure dev test lab right so if you don't want to start from the very beginning right you are wanting some kind of predefined structure right you want to quickly well, just tear down the vms after testing after successful development and next time you just wanted to launch a new one so you know you don't need to just go you know, from the very first step you will be having you can use the arm templates azure resource templates in the json format right or you can you know use the uh, your you know other methods like going with the your uis and then just creating a particular scenario which will be having the different phases there all the you know tracking and ci cd module as well that is also been there so you can just directly use those things for the your devops on as well so as you can see that it, your azure is providing services which was starting back with the you know very in the very beginning we started with the ai ml so first was the very basic compute service and all right and now we are moving towards the devops and the your, your, your githubs and all right this is the few more services then in the front of the iot so iot services this is something which is i i would say that kind of the future of everything right so we are having the future based on the particular iot devices right everywhere iot has taken over so i'm pretty sure that you guys will be using the variables which are again the part of your iot ecosystems right now let's just say that if any organization is using the iot services so even in those one as well where well, your azure has solution for it the first one is it is actually you know uh, here if you notice we are starting with the iot central at this point right so this iot central is actually built upon this azure iot hub okay so this is uh, this is kind of the ui i am talking about so this is going to give you the ui user interface but this one here this is the base of everything so this iot hub is going to be a 
device or a central hub in between right so it is going to act as the central hub for the all bi-directional communication let's just say there is your collection of your sensors right this is your collection of the sensor which is just collecting the data now it is just forwarding it to the any particular it system and this time let's just say that your azure cloud was the your destination it system so this iot hub is kind of the solution in between which will be just providing the connection you know bi-directional communication between the az resource az cloud front and the sensor data that is sending so you can not only one you can add multiple iot devices in this particular iot hub right so this will be just uploading all the requests reply publish subscribe whatever methodology you are using in your iot devices it can just take those inputs output and create a work like just a central hub in between right that is for this here this is the scenario for your iot hub there right so this is iot hub and based on this iot hub you will be topping uh, building a iot central in top of that so it will be just a user interface that is going to make very easy for anyone to connect one service to another one kind of sensor to the another database or to another it functionality that you are having in your particular organization so it is just making your all the tasks very easy okay it will going to help you to run quickly if there is any error so you can just you know uh, restart it from the ui itself that this let's just say that it for for you know, uh, one of the sensor is failed so what you know, you can do with the help of your azure iot center you can quickly you know, check it that okay this node is not working so i have to take action further here okay so just giving you all the things all the data command and control as the your ui itself here okay sending you notification if you will you know, if any particular device is requiring the update firmware update or anything you can push it through the azure iot hub right so that is the one another thing that we are having with the azure iot hub here then we are having the azure spare in the end right so we are having the hub which is connecting everything then you are having a central which is built on that now we are just for the security purpose we are going to have this azure spare so azure spare is just kind of your security solution that is for the built-in communication and security feature which will be happening over to the connected device so now this time what it will be doing it will be doing performing the authorization scenario in there so what it will be doing it will be just you know you are having a particular development kit or so sensor you know which is having a lot of sensor so what it will be doing it is going to be responsible for processing all the operating system and signal data which is you know receiving you it is receiving from the particular device right so first what is going to happen that this device has to authenticate itself via the your certificate based scenario and once that is you know, that is done it is going to establish a secure connection to your sensor and to your hub as well so that is your azure spare that you are using right so this is the your azure you know, iot services that is provided by your azure itself now we have some azure management tools so here we already have seen that what is your azure portal so I think using the Azure portal is one of the very easiest thing that you can do, right? Then there is your PowerShell. So PowerShell, you can install the PowerShell on any of the device, you know, in the iOS or in the Windows, right? Specifically or the iOS, you know, anywhere. So same goes for CLI as well. You can install it there as well. But again, this is going to be your basic script base, right? And this is going to be your PowerShell. So we save them for those files with the PS1, right? So this is going to be a bit of the difference between the two that you can use it on the system. Now you have the cloud shell, which can work with both of the commands and it is available on the cloud, right? And apart from that, we have the Azure mobile app. You have the Azure REST API as well. You know, this REST API will be working with the your web application and all to provide you the architecture proper. Okay, now all these requests, where they go? they go to your management plane which is your arm okay so arm is your very important place so this arm will be first checking their authentication whether or not they are allowed to make such request to me right so this is going to control all these requests and then let's just say that it approved azure cloud shell command to create a new vm so the command will be a bit different in the cloud shell let's just say then it will be just giving it the form of the particular json file okay json scripts 
so it will be launching that resource as a your json file json scripts what are the rule and all those kind of thing so it just launches those and the format of the json right and this is going to be responsible to create all the storage account or the web app or the vms whatever you want to create those are going to be created by your arm right 